You can start a sports conversation without saying a word. All you have to do is wear the logo of the team that you are cheering for. It's our next Talk Sporty 101 tip, and it does a couple of things. Number one, it brings the conversation to you. You don't have to do anything. Sports fans can identify the team that you're cheering for or a team that you're interested in and start that interaction with you. And number two, you have a better idea of who those sports fans are around you. That's helpful for when you want to be the person initiating the conversation. Now, there are a couple of things to know when that conversation gets going. Nobody can tell what level of fan you are just by the gear that you wear. Now, if you wear it every day, I might have a different idea of your fandom as compared to if you only wear it once in a while, but that's not the point. You might come to a conversation with a fan where they want to go very in depth and they want to talk about all the numbers and all the stats and all the history. And you might be at the beginning of your sports talk journey. All you need to have is the reason that you are cheering for that team. A favorite player on that team is also helpful to direct the conversation. And if that team has played recently, last night, in the last week, or they've had a nice run of games, that's something to know too. You can have all of that information at your fingertips by using previous Talk Sporty 101 tips. Reading headlines, knowing why you became a fan in the first place, and then using some of those strategies, whether it's defining your expertise or using no but to keep the conversations going. But here's really what you need to take away from this. You don't have to be the instigator, the initiator, or the extrovert. You can be the introverted sports fan who still has sports conversations that are productive and that help you build relationships. If you have missed any of the series, make sure that you go back because sports fandom is really crucial in business. Plus, it's kind of a fun thing to track during the course of the year. If you have any questions, make sure that you email me, jen at talksportytome.com, and check out all of the resources on talksportytome.com.